Replacing blown caps on a motherboard? Is it hard? Well, we'll just have to see. So as you can see, we've got one blown cap, another blown cap, one here, another one there, and there's a few up here as well. I'm going to replace all these. But it seems like the the skinny caps have all gone basically and um, yeah it's kind of interesting so we're going to replace all those and see if uh, this motherboard actually works so let's just get right into it so once you've located the cap you need to replace you want to turn the motherboard over and locate the two cap points as you can see here um, we have located them there and now what you want to do is get your soldering iron out and heat up the two prongs so once this is nicely heated up, it should be very easy to pull out. If not, you may want to heat it up a little bit more. So, um, as you can see, this can be quite frustrating, but eventually it will come out. So now, um, this is where the cap once was. And you just want to line up the negative to the negative on the motherboard. You got to also make sure that it is the right uh, microfarad as well. That's very important. The original was around 1800 and the 3300 should do just fine. It's a little high for the job, but uh, it should get it done. So um, now you just want to continue this process onto the remaining caps that you need to replace. Again, heat it up and, you know, eventually just wiggle the cap out and uh, it should be fine. So to be cautious I guess um, you want to be very careful around the precious motherboard solder traces if you hit these very hard or you know just bump them a little bit too much um, you could possibly brick your motherboard beyond repair so um, as you can see the camera's not focusing here but um, there's the uh, cap nicely soldered up and um, that's basically it once you finish with the caps you can see that um, the caps I have done aren't the best, but um, it should get the job done. If it works well, then I'll probably end up, you know, redoing uh, all the dodgy looking ones. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Looks like it's burning, but no fan. Let's try that again. crap it actually works bearings probably gone on that fan but really that's basically how to uh, recap a motherboard hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and uh thanks for watching